morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I am the director of R&D for Intelligent Concrete, and uh, we're celebrating another Q&A Wednesday. I think this one's on a Monday. It could be a Tuesday. But we've got some great questions, too. Awesome questions this week. One of them is about CSA cements and how they're produced. So let me just dive into it, if, the, if that's okay. Ding! We got a question from Hamid Reza. Hopefully I'm saying that right, Hamid. Um, hello, what is unclear to me is that I don't understand the process of CSA cement production. In OPC, raw materials heated in kiln and then grinded with gypsum and this is OPC. OPC stands for Ordinary Portland Cement. But in CSA, uh, calcium sulfo aluminate cements, uh, I don't understand the difference between CSA cement and CSA additive in the process of production. Based on what I noticed, when raw materials are combined together, bauxite, lim limestone, gypsum, and etc., they're heated inside of a rotary kiln, 2280 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know about conversion. Hold on, let me see if I could do the conversion. 2280 divided by, or excuse me, minus 32 divided by 1.8 is 1240. Yeah, so, so that's uh, about 1200 to 1300 degrees Celsius. And that product is called clinker. If this clinker is grinded with gypsum, it is called CSA additive. That must be blended with Portland cement. If the clinker blended with Portland cement and again heated inside the kiln, so we have a new clinker that's two times heated in the kiln, when grinding with gypsum, it is called CSA cement. That is the cement that could also be blended with Portland and also replaced. Is my understanding of CSA cement correct? There's a lot. But that was a really good question. So, I mean, really, what's the difference between the two? And I guess one thing that I would add is why do we care? So let's set up the two in this narrative. The two are ordinary Portland cement, your ASTMC 150 cement, and then this calcium sulfo aluminate. Am I saying that right? Man, I, I, yeah, calcium sulfo aluminate cements. Um, and this is something that was created much later than Portland cement was created. This was created in the 1970s by Chinese manufacturers to, I believe it was to speed up the, the timeline of a lot of our, uh, you know, concrete productions. And also there's a certain durability aspect to it. And what I mean by that, it, it's great with higher temperatures. It doesn't respond to ASR as much as OPC does. You know, there's the idea that you don't have uh, any calcium hydroxide in it that can have a negative impact on the concrete or at least create a porosity to it. And that's just not the case. There is a certain calcium hydroxide to it. We are using b light in our CSA cements. And a CSA cement is different from an OPC in that an OPC is normally a, co a combination of tricalcium and dicalcium silicate, where a CSA cement could still have tricalcium silicate, but predominantly it's going to be um, your dicalcium silicate and your tricalcium aluminates and you're gonna have a different degree of cement hydration or that calcium oxide hydration is gonna be a lot faster uh, it's gonna consume a lot of water it might create a more dense structure now it is not as durable to um, I believe heat cycles and water cycles you know the making CSA cements as I understand you can just combine it with raw materials that have already been made as you know Hamid alludes to but the making of specifically of CSA cements does require 200 degrees Celsius less you know in heat than an ordinary Portland cement uh, it also requires less limestone to create that CSA cement so there is a difference in the manufacturing process and I assume that's what you are asking now. Why do we care with CSA cements that we've already alluded to? We can create a concrete with a higher strength to it. The, we don't have the same durability mechanisms and um, you, you can get a faster ripping and stripping time especially if you're doing a precast concrete structure. So there are a lot of benefits to using these CSA cements. Um, I've used them in the past. I'm not a huge fan of them. I mean, they're, they're great, but I think there are other methods um, to uh, getting to that strength and that time frame, as well as getting past this durability mechanism uh, or, or failure mechanisms. Um, but that being said, if, if that's what you have in your area and you don't have these other uh, you know, uh, solutions, these supplementary cementitious materials or of the like, then CSA cements are a great option. So yeah, thanks for joining us today. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any concrete questions, concrete concerns, just let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Go concrete. Beat asphalt.